Every year, about 336,000 tourists come to Zanzibar to enjoy the beautiful nature. But in doing so, they produce waste, which ends up damaging the nature and impact human health. If nothing is done, we might not only see eruption of disease, but also less tourists coming. This is a huge problem because tourists make up 27% of national income and also create 72,000 jobs. So what can be done to manage waste in a proper way without damaging nature? In average, a tourist produces two plastic bottles of 1.5 liters a day. But as you can see here, it's nice and clean. This might be because the facility manager makes sure that waste handling is done properly to keep the guests happy as well as an interest in keeping a clean environment. There are different sources of waste from hotel, guest room, restaurant, garden, kitchen and bars, and each source contains different types of waste, like compostable, such as food waste, vegetable peeling and fruits, yard waste and garden waste, as well as recyclable, such as papers, plastic bottles, glass bottles and, and cans. We focus mainly on recyclable because its management still remains a challenge. In order to manage recyclables, the fundamental principle is sorting, where the hotel should separate each type of waste and keep it into different bins, normally coded with different colors before collection. Do we know how many hotels are sorting their waste according to this principle? Waste sorting is uncommon practice in Zanzibar. Very few hotels sort their waste. For instance, among five hotels that we included in our study, only one practice was sorting. For environment and uh, health reasons, it's good that they are sorting waste. But I wonder what happened once the sorted waste leaves the hotel. Let's go and see what's happened. This is where most of the waste from hotels end up, in the dump site close to the community. But then it doesn't matter whether the hotel sort it or not? Not really, until the government decides to set regulation for waste management. As you can see here, the different kind of waste being openly burned produce noxious fumes which might produce respiratory health problems. Do you have an idea how much a tourist generates per day? How much? We don't have a benchmark for measuring waste produced from hotels. But what I can say, according to our research finding, a tourist produces two 1.5 liters of plastic bottle a day, which is approximately to five million bottles per year, which are not returned to the producer. Apart from that, discarded plastic bottles or glass bottles act as a breeding site for mosquitoes. Another place where plastic bottles are seen is along the beach. When these plastics are swept to the sea, they slowly break down into microplastic and are eaten by fish, as well as affecting seaweed plantation, reducing their value price and impacts community livelihood. Is there anything we can do with hotel waste to save our paradise island from becoming a dumping ground? Yes, there are a lot of simple and feasible solutions. But the most important is reduce the use of plastic. How can you do that? Reduce the use of plastic by using a durable cups of water and refillable container. Instead of buying single-use bottle, buys bottle that can be reused. Buy a water dispenser and train your employee to reduce the use of plastic. Put the recycling bin next to the waste bin. 
and purchase recyclable plastic bottle. That is the most feasible solution for your hotel. Thank you for your time, Justin. We are researching on solid waste management from hotels. So would you tell us what is the purpose of your solid waste management activities? Okay, thank you. Uh, Sandrek is a Zanzibar waste management company. We mainly work with the hotels and the community at large because we believe that a holistic approach to waste management is the only way we can make Zanzibar clean. So mainly we enter into contracts with, with the, the hotels, we collect their waste and also we try to we bring the waste here to the site and then we separate it. We have around five people here around to separate the waste and um, try to recycle as much as possible. At the moment, because some of the hotels they are not separating, we are recycling up to around 60% of the waste that we have, that we collect from the hotels. So we also do education to the community, to the hotel staff, to do, try to do proper waste management and also to do separation. But I can say the challenge that we have at the moment is the hotels are not practicing separation to the level that we can separate, well, that we can recycle as much as possible of the waste. Okay, but how does all those activities help to improve the environment? Sunreg, we try to avoid the dumping of waste, the illegal dumping of waste, and also the burning of waste because we know it's uh, it's uh, hazardous to the health of the people, and also it's not good for the environment. So we try to avoid the burning and also the dump, illegal dumping of the waste in, on the island. As you see, it's a small island, and we don't have much space to put the uh, exactly. the waste. So. At least if we try practice sustainable waste management, then we can live happily on there. So would you give me some example? How do you work? Okay, what, what we do is we enter into, a contract, into contracts with hotels and we provide them with waste management savings. We collect the waste from their hotels. We also do education of their staff on proper handling of waste and also on separation of the waste. So we try as much as possible for the hotels to separate at source and then from there we then collect the waste to this site and then we try to separate into plastic, into glass, into metal and also the organic we make manure from there. So it seems that you're working more with hotels. What about in local communities? We also do work with local communities. We collect waste from the communities like for example in Kendwa. We have a community waste collection project there where we collect the waste for, from the commun community also for free. So that's how we work with the hotels. Also in other areas like Matemwe, mm -hmm. we also collect waste from the community. We have people, we have NGOs that work every day to clean the environment, that's to clean the village. Yeah. And then uh, from there our trucks will pass through and collect all the waste that they so being a private company, I hope there's a potential of waste income generation from this kind of waste. Yeah, of course, uh, since you said we're a private company, yeah. we try to make all the money that we use, we use it, we make it from the hotels that we work with. So, of course, the hotels, the money that we make from the hotels is the money that we use also to do the community waste collection. Yeah. So what, what do you do to make your business sustainable? Mainly, we need more hotels to join the program oh, yeah. uh, because at the moment we are servicing around 60 hotels out of 350 or more hotels in Zanzibar. So we would like more hotels to join the program and as such, because you know waste management, it has a lot of operational costs. At the moment, our company is a little bit stringent in, on the cash, but if we get more hotels, then we, would, we can do more. Thank you so much. It was nice talking to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. I think if enough hotels are sorting the waste, we can change 
the policy put in pressure on the government to ensure recycling is done in Zanzibar. And hopefully in the future, the sorted waste will be imported to a local recycling facility.